That's good to go, so it's only a matter of time before we fire this sucker up. I can't wait, we gotta finish a few lights, but I'm gonna give you guys the first look as we fire this thing up together for the first time. Before we tweak it, do anything, you guys are gonna see it first, I promise. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. What is up everybody, we are back. This is day three out here on this awesome, awesome project. The pond is now filling. We're running off of a well, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for water pressure, make sure that we don't run that well down too far. And we started to see a little bit of spurting, so we might have to fill this thing in increments, which is no big deal. Shut the hose off, let the well regen, and then we can start it back up again, but we're gonna get the pond filled today. Get the rest of our intake bay area over there finished up. We just see some big gravel over there. But the main piece of what we're doing today and you can see Dan's already getting after it, is getting this wetland filter dug in and done. So he's gonna go ahead and clean up the bottom. It's, we're still battling groundwater. As you can see, we had it left a clean out pump in overnight, but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing all smoothed out, ready to roll, get our snorkel centipede set up along the bottom. We also brought out a centipede extension and a snorkel extension so that we make sure that we have all the proper components to go ahead and fill this wetland in. Since we're going so long, we're gonna need a a centipede extension to reach all the way across. We're gonna bring the pipe in down through there, in through the centipede, and then our snorkel is gonna set up over here. So we have to mark that out and that will sit over in this area and through here. Liner throughout everything. Same piece of liner will be used to attach to the bio falls right there. Waterfalls will fall into the wetland, which will come out through here, and then it will overflow into the pond, creating a awesome cascade. We've got two SLD, 2,000 to 5,000 gallon per hour pumps that we're going to be feeding. One's going to go to the waterfalls, the other is gonna to go to the wetland, and then the waterfall down below will be a collection of the two pumps going into the pond. So it's gonna be a lot of fun today. We're gonna to try and beat the rain and uh, we're gonna make some serious headway. So we've got pretty much our whole first layer of strata down. This is that kind of four to eight inch pad. We've got a couple of big ones that we just used because we had some extra. Now we are filling in with all of this stuff. Next, we're gonna come in with our inch and a half pond gravel, which we have in super sacks. It's already lifted up by the mini excavator. We're gonna bring that over, cut those sacks open and dump it all along here. And then we will start rocking in the wetland area and get it all dressed up and jazzy. But before we do any of that rock work, we've got to seam a couple pieces of liner together. All right, there's that river rock that we talked about. That's that inch and a half stuff that went over top of kind of that four to eight inch mix that went on top of the aqua blocks. Now that we have this in place, we are going to get our waterfalls coming into the pond built. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and seam the two pieces of liner together. We we're a little tight on liner to pull off an overlap. So we're gonna go ahead and just seam that piece together. That way we can avoid any potential leaky overlap situations. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky and I don't wanna chance it with the liner being as close as it is. We wanted to make sure that we had enough to go up the face of the biofalls to be able to connect it in all one piece. So. We're just a little short, which is okay. It's just gonna take us a little bit of time. Thank God we have the amount of hands out here that we do. And we're gonna go ahead and get that thing done so that we can keep rocking and get this wetland waterfall combination finished up today.
We are back. This is hopefully D-Day out here on this project. We're gonna button up the waterfalls, get all this dirt graded out, get everything kind of finished and wrapped up, and hopefully we can get this thing done today. A little brisk, temperatures have dropped a little bit. You can see we're starting to get leaf drop from this birch tree up here, as well as that silver maple. So it's that time of year. We're not really sure what we're gonna get. We had everything tarped last night in the event that it was supposed to rain, and it did. It just did not rain a lot here, so thank God for that. Otherwise, it would have made a muddy mess out here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, finish up the waterfall area. We've got our bottom waterfalls built. We just have to fill in some gaps, start foaming everything, put in a couple more key and signature boulders in through here so that we can start backfilling. We're gonna bring dirt in for the backside of these rocks as far as we can, get our plumbing hooked up, get this whole area done. JD is here, which I'm super excited about, and Chris is back as well. So we've got a lot of the Team Aquascape guys. We're gonna go ahead and piece all this together once JD gets the biofalls hooked up over here and then just button up this whole area into here. It's going to be quite the transformation to see where it sits right now to where the end of the day, it's gonna be awesome. I have done a poor job of going through the last day with you. We have been in a mad dash and scramble to get this project done, and we are so close. You see Juan's in the skidster behind me. He's grading everything out. We're doing all the restoration work. We have all of the waterfalls complete. Grading is getting touched up. We are cruising, and it's only about 2.30 in the afternoon, so I figured I would take the opportunity to turn the camera back around and show you kind of where we're at and give you a look of it dry until we get this thing fired up and ready to roll. You got Juan over there doing a great job bringing some fresh topsoil and then we have the rest of the small army we've got the Ponce gang we've got Chris Z over here JD's over there we've got Brad helping us out and we are just grading everything out edges are all done the pond is full the wetland is starting to overflow so that means that's good to go so it's only a matter of time before we fire this sucker up I can't wait we gotta finish a few lights but I'm gonna give you guys the first look as we fire this thing up together for the first time before we tweak it do anything you guys are gonna to see it first i promise so stay tuned just a few more items to check out the list and then we're going to get to plugging in that waterfalls and you guys are going to see how incredible this thing is So Juan is finishing grading up. So we are just about done on this project. Got the wetland filled and we're ready to turn it on. So Chris, you ready? Fire it up, baby! Let's go. There we go. Guys and girls, what a fun project this was. Hopefully this was a super fun episode. Last thing you guys saw was the waterfalls getting kicked on and I absolutely love it. I love the split waterfalls. I love the way it falls seamlessly into that wetland filter. And I love that you don't even know where the wetland filter is on this project and how it all disperses into the pond. And I love the overall shape of the pond. I love so many things about it, but the water is crystal clear. You see all the way down to the bottom, which 
which is about 28, 29 inches. And we've had a couple torrential rains the last couple days. And a lot of times that will stir the water up and make it murky and kind of opaque or chocolate milk. But this is absolutely pristine. You can see we've got leaf drop happening. We've lost quite a few degrees in our daily temperatures. So leaves are starting to fall. The intake bay is starting to do its job. When I got here, there was some stuff swirling in here, collecting, and the skimmer box was actually full. So when I got here, the waterfall was just barely at a trickle, which indicated to me that the skimmer box was full of debris. So the water wasn't allowed to get to the pump nearly as fast as it normally is. I cleaned that out. You can see everything's getting drawn across the surface slowly into that intake area. But I love this waterfall. Even a cool little addition, our little friends over here. Looks like they've been having some fun out here enjoying it. But I love this waterfalls. I love the fact that the fog filter is already starting to work, clearing up this water, getting it crystal clear. And it just looks so, so beautiful. I love the sound. I love the fact that you can enjoy it from this enormous deck out here. Bob, the homeowner, has called a couple times just saying how much he loves it, being able to enjoy it right up close and personal, but also back here on the deck behind us. Just such a nice addition to his outdoor landscape and will bring him many more years of enjoyment by living with it. It just looks so awesome. So we had a few challenges on this project. One was getting everything kind of down to ground zero, over excavation of everything, and then layering it with a bunch of fabric, getting the liner down, and then more fabric. And then just the construction process was a little bit unique to itself, but we ended up making it work. Obviously all the restoration work that we had to do back in here took us some extra time, but the gang from Team Aquascape, Jack, Jack, DK, and Chris Zeschke were all a huge part of the overall success of this project, as well as the guys from CE Pont, outdoor living experts out of Pennsylvania. We're so much fun to work with, but we absolutely love this pond. So does Bob, the homeowner. Hopefully you guys do too. If you did, let us know in the comments section. Also, if you have any questions on how this project went together, please feel free to let us know. We'll be happy to get back to you and answer any questions that you may have. But we love hearing from you guys out there, so drop us a little note. And if you haven't done so already, click the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of the Team Aquascape content that's coming out three times a week for you. Thanks again, folks, for watching. We'll see you later. Thank you.